In this quick tip tutorial, we're going to explore the subject of working with a voxel layer that happens to have multiple parts combined together on it. How would you go about manipulating or transforming just certain parts of that layer without actually having to separate the entire object? Well, there is one way to do it through the pose tool, which the name is somewhat of a misnomer because it really is 3D Coat's Swiss Army knife in terms of modeling in the sculpt workspace because it can do so many different things beyond just posing. So in the adjust section, let's go to pose and in the tool options panel, I'm going to scale this out a bit. At the very top, you can choose how you make your selection. In this case, we want to choose Select Object. Now, I can click on the individual parts. Let me first hit Escape. In the E panel, I probably want to use a brush for this rather than some selection marquee. So let's do that. Now let's click. I can see it highlighted. And now if I want, I can pull it away and manipulate it, whatever I want to do. Okay, so I'll undo a few times. You can even choose to use freeform. You make it fit that particular selection. And if you need, you can hide the gizmo temporarily while you continue making a selection. I'll go ahead and clear the selection. So let's say I want to scale this front plate up here. I'm going to scale my brush up. And I'll hide the gizmo temporarily while I make my selection. So I'm just going to continue. And hold the shift key. I can select all these individual parts. And let's say I now want to invert my selection. I can choose that here. And now I can scale just this part here. So let's unhide our gizmo. Let's to center mass. We can reset the axis. If it's at a uh, slight angle, you can always choose main axis and that will be locally oriented. And now I can scale that up maybe move it just a bit and we're done. All right, so now let's look at how we might go about separating this. What you can do is go to geometry, objectify, which is basically a separate. And now you'll see it puts them into a parent layer to which you can start hiding or unhiding all the individual parts and whatnot. At any point in time, if you want to be able to quickly select a part without having to look through a long list of layers, you can just hover over your object and hit the H key. Not only will 3D Coat select it, but it will also bring it up in the Vox Tree layer panel as well. So let's go over here. I'll hit the H key. And so it's automatically going to scroll through the Vox Tree layer panel to reveal its location. So I'll do the same thing up here. If you want to be able to parent it to another part, let's say, for example, um, let's try this one again. If I want to parent this to just this particular part, what I can do is right click and I can choose change parent. But right here is what I want to do. I want to choose this particular picker rather than having to look through this list. So I'm going to click on that. And now I'm able to click the parent and you can see how that worked. Okay, so that's a quick look at working with separated parts, whether you want 3D Coat to go ahead and separate them for you or whether you want to leave them intact and just manipulate them individually while you leave them on the same layer. Okay, so I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.